I'm Jetlag Dilly and welcome back to my channel. So there's been this trend on YouTube called the assumptions tag and it's super basic and you know what? I want to be a part of it. So that's what we're doing today. So I asked you guys on Instagram assumptions you may have about me and today we're going to read them, we're going to react to them and we're going to find out if these are true or false. I'm not gonna lie, when I was reading some of these, I was just like, Oh my god! I'm about to get roasted today. We spilled lots of tea. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. And let's get into the video. That like a oh, workout <laughs> motion. Uh, you don't care what people think about you. That's me. No, I don't. <laughs> Go ahead and talk all the rumors and shit that you want. I'm cool with it. You're a bad driver. No, it's not like I'm a bad driver. It's just that everyone always ends up hitting my car. It's like I have a giant target sign or like a bumper sticker that says, hit me and you'll win a million dollars. But my goal in life, once I become rich and famous, hit subscribe and like this video. Getting myself my own personal driver so that way I don't have to drive. You're a low key hoe. A little bit. I mean, I'm just trying to get a boyfriend in every state. You're a girl. Yep, definitely am. <laughs> Your farts smell like bananas. They don't smell bad, but they're a little tutti fruity if you know what I mean. You're the baddest bitch on the block. Damn straight I am. <laughs> you casually talk to yourself and even in public. I mean, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> Filming this video. <laughs> talking to myself. I think out loud like all the time. I have zero shame in my game. So many people think like I'm talking to them and actually having a conversation with them but in real life I'm just, you know, talking to me, myself, and I. You're never lonely. You get annoyed easily. God, that's such an annoying question. Why would you even ask that? You are 23% bisexual. No! <laughs> what? I'm 100% straight. Sorry. <laughs> you are super smart and funny. Aw, thank you. Uh, I guess I'm more like textbook smart. Common sense, uh, <laughs> throw that out the window. I'm glad someone thinks I'm hilarious, but it's just who I am. I just act like an idiot 24 seven. You enjoy popping pimples. How did you know? When I see one, like a big juicy honker on somebody, I just want to go up to them and just squeak. It's so satisfying. I can be your pimple popping pimp. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Pimple popping pimp. Pimple popping pimp. Pimple popping pimp. You're such a squirrel <laughs> and probably a fantastic cuddler and movie date. <laughs> okay. So. Is this you trying to ask me out on a date? <laughs> don't take me on a movie date. Everybody does that. Like, let's go jump on a plane or something. You don't know how to be in a relationship. It's not like I don't know how to be in a relationship. It's just I don't want to be in a relationship. See, I just got annoyed really easily. So I guess that's true. You like cats better than dogs. I like cats, not pussy. Just don't get it twisted, sis. You think all vegans are gay or women? It's funny because the guy who wrote this question, I met him on the plane when I was working and he was asking if we had any like vegan snacks for sale. Like, wait, hold on, are you vegan? And he's like, yeah, and I was like, are you gay? He's like, no, and I was like, I was like, we are getting married right now, like we are doing this. Straight vegan men, they like don't exist. You're a very rare breed. I need to meet you. And when I say meet you, I don't mean M-E-A-T. I mean M-E-E-T, okay? <laughs> Just a little clarify. You secretly eat meat. If you mean dick, then yes. Is dick a carb? You like to make weird faces. You don't enjoy drinking. No, I do enjoy drinking. Only if it's H2O, baby. Usually on the rocks. You don't know how to cook. Isn't that what the microwave's for? You know, you just heat it and eat it. Done in 30 seconds. That's my kind of meal. <laughs> you have a sugar daddy. I do? Well, he's a real lousy one then because I ain't getting anything over here. Have I ever had a sugar daddy in my life? Let me think. 
And I had a couple guys send me money, you know, like, oh, go treat yourself, Jillian. One, one guy actually sent me a dress because he thought I had, like, hot in it. It's like, oh, cool. Thanks for the free clothes. I'm not opposed to it. Bring it on. You give me the sugar and I'll give you the sugar, okay? Daddy, you constantly try and smile. I don't try. Like, do you see these smile lines? <laughs> Someone could tell me something really horrible, like their cat dying, not their dog dying. I would be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> that would be like my reaction. It's so bad. You don't like to read books. No, I don't. I find that extremely boring. I know it's supposed to be good for you or like whatever. I'm more of a, let's listen to a podcast. You're really good in bed. Oh, thanks. I don't know if this is like an assumption or you're giving me a compliment. So you're just gonna have to find out yourself. <laughs> okay, moving on. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel down below. I put out new videos every single week. Bye!